What's up guys, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now this is my first time playing zombies since a new update and we have some new guns to get Dark Aether and today we're gonna be starting with the EM2. Now I've already gotten this Dark Matter, if you wanna see that, I'll have the link to it somewhere on the screen. But today we're gonna be trying to get every single camo for the EM2 in one game. Hopefully we can do it, I think we can. But now we gotta pick our attachments. I'm gonna go with the Mill Stop, uh, the Flash Guard, I guess. Cavalry Lancer, Ember Sighting Point, Bruiser Grip for that movement speed. Gonna get that 40 round mag i think i'll go with field tape i don't i don't know why but i'm feeling field tape it's calling to me and then the raider stock now there is the new field upgrade tesla storm i have not used it at all yet and it does not look like i have the crystals to upgrade it i only have 15 refined so we're gonna be using it level one and there's also the new perk death perception i also have no crystals to upgrade this so hopefully after this game we'll have enough to at least get a few tiers on both of these and i'm excited to try the new stuff out i have not played zombie since this new update and i think it's gonna be a lot of fun so let's go ahead, hop in on Mauer de Toten and get this thing Dark Aether. But it's actually been a while since I've gotten Assault Rifle Dark Aether. So just kills with it, critical kills, kills while it's packed, special kills, 10 kills rapidly, critical kills, and consecutive kills. So really just got to focus on our crits here. All right, here we go. First game of zombies with the EM2. All right, now let's go ahead and get our first kill with it. Making sure it's a crit. Got to start the crits early and often. And now the road to Dark Aether has begun. Now, not to spoil my EM2 multiplayer video, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it there. Uh, and I know there's a huge discrepancy between weapons in multiplayer and zombies. So hopefully this gun is a lot better in zombies than it is in multiplayer. And I'm excited to see how it can do towards the higher rounds. So far, it's doing well. I mean, it's round two. But I'm one tapping these zombies. It feels weird using a gun in zombies right now because I've been using nothing but just melee weapons the past few weeks. And now that we have an AR to use, uh, I'm excited. It should be a lot of fun. Ooh, man max ammo let's go i'm used to making the joke out of picking up max ammo after using all those melee weapons but now it's actually useful oh first camo the acidic camo let's go all right we're five rounds in i think we have plenty of money to leave now let's go ahead hit the zip line and we're 46 kills 40 crits doing very good on our ratio here we just got to keep the crits up can't lose sight of that because crits are mainly the thing that takes the longest on getting anything dark aether oh there's our buddy the tempest what's going on pal zombie Get away. Tempest. Go sleep. Oh, and he's giving us armor too. Thank you. And there's the stroke camo. Moving up in the world. Let's pop this bad boy open. Race the train across. Run. We did it with actually like so much time to spare. Pop this bad boy open. Grab this loose change. Hit the lever. Oh no, the fuse broke. Oh my God. And today I think we're going to take a play out of Sam's playbook and grind camos down here. Speaking of camos, there's our wasteland camo. So we don't want to open that door. Let's run around try to get our other tempest. Please train, don't hit me. It's like nasty. All right, pop this open. Hello, tempest. That felt like it took way too many shots to kill. Is this thing already falling off? What round is it? Six? No, it's still round five. What the hell? All right, pop in the last fuse, throw the lever on, and we have power. Where do they even get, like, names for these weapons? What does EM2 mean? EM2. Wait, EM2. E equals M. Throw the C out. Squared. All right, enough fucking around. Let's go get Pack-A-Punch. Oh, wow, let's Pack-A-Punch. Wait, what? What's going on? Who is this man? Why is he getting so angry? All right, we have our Tesla Storm ready. Uh, it, it is only level one, so let's just go ahead and try it. Okay, it's kind of like dead wire almost i'm not understanding what it's doing oh if i stand near them they freeze that's sick this would have been perfect for melee weapons had i not already grinded them all out i guess we still have the cane to do but we're doing a little something special for that disciple you need to leave oh shit get out of here oh and we get a nice little camo for it i guess i'll grab a nuke all right let's go ahead and pack a punch it now this is what the em2 looks like with the first pack a punch camo it looks really nice i kind of wish i would have kept just a default scope on it to see what the camo looks like on there but overall really really good coverage the pack a punch camos are especially on this map just do it right can we upgrade this bad boy oh we can let's get it green tier and since we're broke right now let's go ahead and sit back here and just grind some crits out oh this is what i'm talking about i literally predicted it i have you, you saw i have not played a single game of zombies with this but look at the look at the pack a punch name e mc2 come on come on i'm big brain as hell me and albert einstein like this let's go oh we need points so let's grab this double points and we'll pick up a camo on the way or two let's go all right we got eight thousand points now let's go ahead and pick up a few perks we're gonna need them okay Ooh, there's death perception don't really need it now but let's get jug let's get quick revive and that's it that's our safety blanket 
as I jump off the roof and take half damage. I didn't even think about it. I'm used to having stamina up. Can we upgrade this anymore? We can. Let's get a blue tier. Now we're back in Sam's home. Now I think we're going to use Tesla Storm for as long as we can. I do only have it tier one, so I don't think it's going to last us past like round 20 maybe. But Ring of Fire down here is definitely going to do a lot of work. We're going to be grinding the hell out of camos down here. And so far, it's working our ratio. We have 186 eliminations, 162 kills. That is not bad at all. Oh, there's a Panzer. I want to see what uh, Tesla Storm does to the Panzer. Let's group these guys up. Hit him with it. It does nothing to him. He ignores it. He does not care. Yeah, he does not give a fuck about this Tesla Storm. Oh, we took him out anyways. Oh, no, another double point. Let's go. Oh, racking up camos here. I think we got at least three that round. And we got 17K. Let's go ahead and pick up all of our salvage and then head up and pick up some more perks on our way there. Can we upgrade this anymore? No, but we can upgrade our armor. So let's do that. All right. So first things first, I'm the realist, but also I'm grabbing stamina up and dead shot. Get off me. Also want to get speed cola. And then next I'm going to get death perception. I might as well just stay up here for now. There's just nothing but easy crits. Come on, climb up. Who's next? Dunked on him. You don't even get to climb up. Same with you. All right, let's pick up death perception. And now we're just gonna save up until we can pack a punch. Oh, death perception is kind of sick. You can see exactly where they're spawning at. Kind of cool. I think without any of the other tiers on it, it's gonna not be as useful. We're not gonna get to enjoy that boosted armor damage, but at least we get to see some zombies through walls. It's like we're playing Warzone. There's a glitch camo. All right, let's pick up this armor and all this salvage. Another double points. They're just throwing double points at me today. And camos, apparently. All right, we got 15K. That means we have enough to get pack a punch too so let's go ahead and snag it all right here's pack two let's take a look at the inspect on it it looks great honestly the entire gun is covered there's a panzer shooting at me i don't care got that nice green hex pattern with the aquamarine on it i, I really like these pack a punch camels i'm gonna say it every time we get one but we're back to the streets where we began uh-oh panzer's here panzer you don't want to do this man come on tesla storm again even though it does nothing to you these zombies can f off for a bit get off me go to bed Thank you. And that is a camo. Thank you for your service, Panzer. But with that being said, it's time to change off of... Oh, shit. Don't kill me, please. As I was saying, like we're going to have to switch to Ring of Fire because I don't think Tesla Storm is going to do much for us here if we don't have it tiered up. Replace the armor. Oh, wait. Look at that. 420 salvage. We need weed. Oh, you know what? After this round, I need to go get an ammo mod. I think we need cryo freeze for this. Oh, Disciple. Get... Fucked. That was literally a three-shot kill. This thing is nasty when it's packed. How many how many shots does it take to kill a normal zombie at round 17? One. Still a one-shot headshot. That's nice. You like to see it. Speaking of headshots, let's check our crit ratio. Oh! 420 crits! Shout out weed again! But in all seriousness, 470 eliminations, 420 crits. We're making really good pace here. I can't believe that. We had a double weed round. What are the odds? Disciple, get out of here. Or was that a tormentor? I don't even know. There's only a few zombies left in this round, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head up and grab Cryo. All right, there we go. Put Cryo. Go to bed. Ooh, thanks for the salvage, pal. What is this guy doing? See, with death perception, you get to see where the zombies just glitch out at and don't chase you. Guess I'll just uh, wait right here for him to uh, respawn. There's my man. Gone. Hold on, let's teabag him too. And we've been talking about our salvage a lot. So let's go ahead, check the armor stand. We can get this to pink, perfect. Now, right now we have the perfect grinding combo on. We have cryo and ring of fire. And I'm gonna go ahead and give it a label. I think this should be called the icy hot strat. Oh no, there's a panzer. Oh fuck, oh shit. Okay, we have a ring of fire, let's pop it. Get away from me, everybody get away. Ooh, max ammo in the ring of fire. You like to see it? All right, we, we squeaked out of that. Now all we gotta do is really save up for pap three. Disciple, get out of here. Get clapped on, stupid E. Oh, a little insta-kill action. Bop, bop, bop. Let's get some taps in. Look at all the salvage on the ground. This is ridiculous. This is all from one round. I might be able to fully upgrade this thing sooner than I thought. And speaking of fully upgrading it, we have 35,000. So let's go ahead and get this Pack-a-Punch 3. Let's grab it really quick before the round starts. Take a peep at it. And this is beautiful. The The gold accent is really starting to grow on me, especially when the thing turns full purple. It, it's such a nice camo. I hope when they add another round base map in a month that they, they add more pack-a-punch camos. All right, Disciple, get out of here. Oh, double points. I need that. All right, and then I'm gonna go right here, pop the ring of fire, and just start spraying. Oh, there's the Panzer, and he's gone instantly. Hardly even got to see him. Ring of fire is so broken. Please don't nerf it, though. Please. All right, I think we have everything we really need right now. We're pack three. We have all of the 
perks that we need. We might get elemental pop into the later rounds if we feel like we need it. But the only thing we got to do now is just save up salvage. Oh, grudge camo and the, the manic camo. All right, let's see if we can upgrade our armor at all. I think we can. Yep, let's get a tier three. Now we just got to save up 600 of the blue salvage. Then we can get this thing gold. We're popping our ring of fire right away on this round. I just have a feeling. Oh, disciple gone. Sleep. I'll just fly through these rounds. Get that max ammo. Uh-oh. And a little bit crazy wet and wild over here. So let's throw a stun. Pick up some nice crits. And there's our pack-a-punch camo. 750. Uh-oh. I'm making a, some really bad training moves here. Disciple needs to go. Oh, and a double points. This is like our eighth double points of this game so far. This spot's honestly goaded. I don't know why I haven't used this like earlier. I'm such a zombies vet now. I know everything. Me and Rick Toven go way back. All right, let's... I'm throwing a fire! There's a panzer on me! Nice little crystals. We're getting there. We're definitely gonna have to exfil once we get this dark aether just to make sure that we get a little extra crystals on top of that. We need to get two things all the way up to tier five. The one thing I would ask to be changed for Cold War Zombies, I'm, I'm sure there's a few things, but just one specific thing is once you have everything tier five, they just stop giving you crystals. I feel like you should just get crystals to a point where it maxes out. That way when something new comes out, you can instantly upgrade it to tier five and not have to to grind just to use the new thing because i've played so much zombies in between like a new perk coming out or a new field upgrade coming out that i feel like i should just be able to instantly upgrade it to you know max speaking of max there's a max ammo but i i guess it's fine but i guess we'll just have to grind out our all of our crystals anyways playing this so we'll get it in no time but i just wish there was the option to like save up crystals even if you don't need them but right now 1000 eliminations 800 crits we're falling up behind a little bit which is bound to happen at these higher rounds you're not guaranteed to get every headshot but we're about halfway there we just need a thousand five hundred more kills and about a thousand five hundred more crits oh you know what before i start falling behind on ammo i think i'm gonna head up and grab meal kick because i do have meal kick tier five and i'm pretty sure that gives you more ammo or at least gives you more ammo drops either way It'll be useful. Let's grab Mule Kick. And that's going to be it for now. One up, Tormentor. Domed. It gets so chaotic in here so fast. You pop a ring of fire and there's just a disciple over there screaming in the corner. It gets loud. All right, we have 1,000 blue scrap. I think that means we can finally get this thing all the way up to gold tier. And there it is. So this thing is finally at its full potential. Uh, I mean, maybe not complete full potential. I don't know the exact meta for zombie weapon attachments, but this is as best as we're going to get. And right now it's still doing pretty well. And now, as soon as I say that, a panzer shows up to try to prove me wrong. Let's go ahead and stun these guys. Get a few shots in on this panzer. Oh, he's pissed. Okay, ring of fire. Get away. Oh, panzer's gone. Everything's gone. Nothing but death and destruction ahead of me. Ring of fire is such a cheat code. Oh, look at all these hip fire crits. We're going crazy. Watch the insta kill. Turn around, pull out the fist, and pop them. And we got nothing to do with our leftover scrap, so let's go ahead and just grab a flamethrower so we can use it later. All right, this disciple's pissing me off. Ring of fire. Disciple, gone. All zombies gone another disciple sleep it is ridiculous how hard you just melt zombies the second a ring of fire comes up i don't think there's ever going to be a field upgrade that just bests ring of fire unless they nerf it into the ground all right let's just stun these guys for fun disciple sleep all your zombie friends sleep and the round's over we have a hundred thousand points and like nothing to spend them on but we're still racking up them crystals we take those but i think we have almost all of our camos done except for the ones we need kills in the thousands for pack a punch crits and just normal but we're getting there we're getting close we're getting close to getting down too throw a stun throw another stun ring of fire we're not going down not happening cross a stun get some free kills these disciples are pissing me off another stun oh my god oh we did go down damn it i was planning on not going down at all come on quick revive oh this guy come on give me them knives Nope, gotta use my self-revive. That's unfortunate. Okay, uh, I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and leave. Y'all can have fun in that corner. I need to go get my perks back. Good thing we have 115,000 points though. But if we're already going down at round 31, this might be a problem. Oh shit, get away from me zombies. Okay, this, 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 and this. And I'm going down again, perfect. No self-revive either, no! It's not going down like this. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come here, come here. Don't jump down, you coward. We might have just screwed ourselves. No, stop jumping down. Stay here. Come to daddy. I'm out of ammo completely. No, come here. Oh, fuck. How did we do this? We messed up. We really messed up. Oh, we're doing so well too. We went down once in that round and we didn't recover. I should have just played it safe until I had enough time to buy it, but I... I... I was too tunnel visioned on getting my perks back. All right, well, I guess we failed the Dark Aether in one game, but I'm gonna go ahead and hop into another one and try to finish this off. And 
then uh i guess i'll see you guys when we're back to where we, we left off with pack a punch three but before that let's see our camo progress how far did we get before we bit the bullet i can't believe we went down like that honestly yeah we really just needed our our thousand kills all right i'm hopping back in i'll see you guys in a second <sighs> all right let's take our walk of shame hey there's our 1500 kills while pack a punch we're finally making progress on camos again but we basically got to double everything we did now there's our 1500 critical kills we're not too far behind just our normal and pack a punch kills oh there's the rotten camo we're finally done with normal kills we can't be too far behind on crits and pack a punch we're almost there oh there's our pack a punch uh-oh. It's the ring of fire. We're only one camo away now. And I think we're right about where we died last time. We died on round 31. We finally made it back to round 30. And it is a struggle to get these critical kills all the way, like, low rounds. And by struggle, I mean it's hard to get a, a high amount of them. I think we're only a few hundred away. Might even be able to get it this round. I accidentally threw a stem text and almost killed myself. But for most of the time, I've just been sitting right up here. And my crit ratio is actually pretty good. 1,300 kills with 1,100, almost 1,200 crits. I've hardly missed any headshots this game. And it's still taking me 30 rounds just to get up to the final camos. I think we're going to hang out right over here. Uh-oh. Bring a fire. Knock them out. Okay, so there has been a few things I've noticed in my time grinding all the way back to round 30. I sat in the spot for a little bit, and it seems like they have fixed this spawn back here. Zombies actually do spawn out this window now and not just when you go down the line and back up. But the most important thing that I've noticed is that I have not heard Dr. Peck's voice a single time. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Not again. Come on. Come on. At least we still have our self-revive. I guess I'll use it. I need to be way more careful. There's no way I'm going down around 31 twice. Now, this gun seems decent and it's doing, like, you know, okay. But once you hit round 30... Oh, I almost died again. What is going on? Hello? What? Can I go down, please? Please. There you go. Oh, that was probably not the move to make. It gave all these zombies all the time in the world to get down here. Are you serious? On round 31 again, this is gonna happen. That's so fucked up. Twice. Twice. That time is not even our fault. It held us hostage on that rope. Gave all the zombies all the time in the world to spawn down here after we've already gone down. Come on, please. Get over here. No, there's no way it's happening again. I can't believe this. Twice. I'm pretty sure I am less than 100 crits away from getting Dark Aether. This is the most unfortunate thing I've ever seen in my life. This game is like actually rigged. Hold on. I want to see how close I am. I'm literally 90 crits away. That's going to take forever to get. I'm so done. All right, I guess we can go ahead and upgrade our skills. We got more than enough now. Death Perception. Yeah, let's upgrade that bad boy. Tier 5. Field upgrades, Tesla Storm. Upgrade this bad boy. All right, we got a tier three. I don't even care. I'm finishing this on D Machina. All right, 90 crits. Let's go ahead and rack them up. I honestly can't believe this game has to have it out for me. I'm so torn because Peck is not on Maori Toten. At least I haven't heard from him. Not since this update. But then they, they just go out of their way to, to make the whole game unfortunate. They're like, oh, round 30, done. Like... It was so blatant, that last attempt, going down that rope. Like, what, what the fuck was that? We're halfway there. Oh, 69 crits. Shout out, sex. Oh, there's Gold Viper, finally. After three years, seven days, eight hours, 45 minutes, and 28 seconds, we finally have Dark Aether on this thing. Now, please kill me. Please take me out. End my suffering. All right. My suffering is finally over. All right, this has already taken more time than I originally planned, so I'm going to speed through this. This is what this gun looks like with Gold Viper. Gold Viper looks like shit. It'll always look like shit. Plague Diamond, great. Awesome coverage. Looks cool even when the camo's not fully loading in. And Dark Aether is always going to look nice. It's always going to be the cleanest camo. Love it. Now let's go see what it looks like in game. Hold on. So I'm in custom games here and Slums is actually in the game. What? Is, is this map out in multiplayer yet? Why is Slums here? All right, well, I guess here we are on Slums. I had no idea it was in the game, but here is Dark Aether on the EM2. Definitely way more of a hassle than it was worth. A uh, very, very unfortunate series of events led to us getting Dark Aether, but doesn't matter now. We have the camo and it looks really good. I definitely think I should have left the default scope on while we were doing it because the extra camo coverage on it looks great. But anyways, here it is.
Here's Dark Aether. But I think this is where I'm going to end the video. So if you guys like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't. Dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.